Hi everyone, it's Rabbi Fleischman, and I'm here to teach you Parakimel Mishnah Tet of Masechet Bavakama. Isn't that a great picture? What happens when one ox worth 100 zoos kills another ox worth 200 zoos, and the body of the dead ox is worth nothing? Well, the Mishnah tells us that the farmer who lost his ox gets to take the living ox as payment. Okay, but what happens if the two oxen involved in a fight are both worth 200 zoos, and the dead ox's body is worth nothing? Rabbi Meir says, Al Zen Emar. On this it says, Umachruet Ashorachai Vichatsuet Kaspo. The Torah tells us to split the ox in half and divide the price of it. Along comes Rabbi Yehuda, and he congratulates Rabbi Meir for making the right call. But he wonders something. Sure, you fulfilled the Pasuk of splitting the living ox into two and getting your 100 zoos payment. But what about the rest of the Pasuk that says the gam et hamet yechetsun, that you have to split the worth of the dead ox? If the dead ox is worth zero, then you're getting zero. So Rabbi Huda says that sure, you can't split zero and zero, but he just wants to make sure everybody understands that if a 200 zoos ox scores a 200 zoos ox and the carcass is worth anything, that you split the total price. So if the ox on the left is worth 200 and he kills the ox on the right and his carcass is only worth 50, then you have to add up the total price and give half to both people involved. So just remember, the name of the game in this Mishnah is half and half. Everything gets divided in half. Thanks for listening.